Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to replace uh, front brakes, brake pads, rotors, if need to be on 2011 Lexus ES350. Uh, let me show you that this is actually Lexus. Show you the front. So, uh, things you're going to need to replace your brake pads on your Lexus. You're gonna need size 14. Not sure how well you guys how well it's shown size 14 socket. That's to replace the pads to remove a caliper, a ratchet, or maybe it's just a wrench. Depends what you have. Uh, that's to remove. You're gonna need grease for uh, pins to lubricate the pins. You're gonna need a C-clamp. It all depends on uh, which doesn't really matter as long as it fits in. Uh, a brush to, to wrap it clean here to remove any dust. So that's small thing, maybe a small screwdriver uh, to remove to change the brake pads. To do a to replace the rotor, one of the things you're gonna need is depends how bad it's rusted here. Uh, spray some kind of lubricant, you know, WD-40 or whatever, it doesn't matter. You can use the hammer to hit it on the sides to break it loose, or you're going to need a bolt to put it there. It's a regular bolt, not sure what's the size. Uh, you can pick it up at your local hardware. I just happen to have it laying around in my garage. Thickness or the diameter of this bolt is... Uh, a little bit more than quarter of an inch, but less than five sixteenths. So I'm not sure what size. To remove the rotor, there is a bolt. See the bolt right there? This is the bolt. That's, this bolt is 17. So you're gonna need, and there's one at the bottom. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. So you size 17 is the wrench or the socket to the ratchet to remove that. To remove this. Uh, this caliper bracket, or whatever this is called. So this is the caliper, this is the caliper like this bracket. One bolt, this bolt on the top, and there's one at the bottom. Right there, not sure if you guys, not sure if I'm showing it or not, but that's the one right there. This is the one. Through the caliper, you're gonna have to break those bolts using a socket, size 14. Just the wires for my for, for lights. So size 14 ratchet or wrench, break it loose. Once it's broken loose, as you can see, it's not really moving anywhere. So the caliper is not sliding. Uh, the reason why it's not sliding because those uh, those pins, caliper pins, they're they're seized. That's the reason why there's another one. There's here that I'm gonna show you guys. Give you a better view so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, first of all, you gotta use the C clamp. When you put in a C clamp, make sure you attach to the right spot because you don't want to put it here because you're gonna damage the bolt, your uh, brake line, rubber hose. Where you want to put it is like right behind it. And push the caliper in right behind it and at the same time kind of wanna that's about like four o'clock five o'clock position and keep oops, let me show you a little bit better view right there you guys can see or not but so this is what it's Gently keep squeezing it until pretty much it stops. You know, it depends how bad is your brakes and what I'm doing until it stops. Don't overdo it. That's it, it stopped. So I'm going to remove it. As you 
you can see the brake caliper is not sliding because the pins are shot and we're gonna, I'm going to show you they should be lubricated. And if they're not lubricated, your brake pads will wear out much faster. Your rotors will be overheated much faster because uh, when you release the brake pedal, they're supposed to release and everything's supposed to, the brake pads supposed to separate, kind of push back. But if this seized, there is, there is nowhere to go and it's keep grinding brake pads against the surface of the rotor even when you're not applying the brakes. So that's one of the problems most of the brakes, they will squeal because the pins are not lubricated. So I'm going to remove the bolts, top one first, then the bottom one, this caliper, oh, and put it to the side. As you can see, not sure if you can see or not, but the piston pushed in pretty much all the way, maybe a little bit more. So, I'm going to sit on the jack stand, get it out of the way, and then you have those to remove the pads, just make sure you're wearing your uh, safety glasses, remove those springs, one on the top, one on the bottom. You don't need any tools, use your hands. Just remember the position. My brake pads, I'm gonna, they're still good. I'm gonna push them out, remove them, clean the surface from any dirt. Uh, there's some dirt here, there, I'm gonna clean it. Those surfaces here, I'm gonna use the and inspect. It's good to check your brake pads, make sure they're not cracked. I'm gonna clean this off dirt here. My brake pad still there is a lot, more than a quarter of an inch of surface left, so they're still good. Mine are pretty clean. I'm gonna use a, just a tiny bit of grease and those surface contacts just slightly coat it so it prevents from rusting it and sticking to the uh, caliper. Just don't overdo it slightly, make sure you're not touching the brake pad with the grease. It will prevent from corroding and your brake pads will last longer because now they're sliding back and forth and preventing from being stuck in one position. Grease that I'm using is using synthetic. Uh, I will post the link because it's a high temperature and then put it back just it's very easy just to wake him out. So it now goes back much easier and smoother because the po contact points are lubricated. Same thing with this on the other side. What I'm going to do clean this, this here, remove any dirt, inspect, make sure it's not cracked, no. Same thing, I'm going to just tiny bit, lube it, do not apply grease to the brake pad because otherwise you will not able to stop your car. So, went in that easy. My brake calipers are good, brake pads are good too. What I'm doing is servicing, but I had told you guys. And since the caliper is removed, let me show you. Since the caliper is removed, let me show you a better view of, of the bolts. that I was talking about to remove this bracket, caliper bracket, to remove the brake rotor. So next step, those caliper bolts or pins, see, I can't even remove them, they're stuck. And they should not be like that, they should be freely movable. So I'm going to gently push on them to get them out. And sometimes you got to use the wrench to actually twist it. To break them loose. It all depends when the last time someone serviced and if you take it to the dealership for many cases they would not service them because dealership or any other places because usually guys don't care much about lubricating those pins. It takes time and they don't get paid by hourly but per job and if they're there so for them to make a living. They, so as you can see I'm using this grease and I'll post a link where you can buy it Put it inside the, the and I'm gonna lightly 
put it to this pin itself. I'm just gonna twist them so it gets lubricated. You see now it's freely, it's moving. A good practice to do it depends where you live. Uh, I would say probably once a year, maybe even once at least a couple years. These are the basic steps, preventive steps that will make your brake pads last longer, more enjoyable to drive the vehicle. Now same thing with the bottom pin. Careful with the screwdriver or if you using your hands not to puncture it. Same thing as you can see there's nothing there. It's it's all kinda most dried up. That's why they don't slide in and out and my brakes were making squealing noise. Same thing I'm gonna put in some grease inside there. Same thing, twist it, work it out, any excess, wipe it clean, you can put it on spots where on different bolts, so to prevent it from corroding, if there is too much. Now, I'm going to push those, uh, put those springs back. And this is it, you know, this is pretty simple, straightforward process, not just don't take your time because now it's lubricated it pushes back so now it means things are working the way they're supposed to and just use your other hand to hold it make sure they're all the way in hold with one hand take the other hand take the caliper and just slide it Yep, that's that's how easy. Make sure those bolts are pushed in all the way when you are attaching or putting back the caliper. See guys, this is pretty easy, straightforward. Now you save you saved yourself uh, what a couple hundred bucks at least. Now you see guys, the caliper is moving the way it's supposed to be. Even though it pushed back in, but at least it's freely. And here, I'm not sure if you can see or not. Even the brake pad is moving because there's room, it's all lubricated, all those contact points, because those little springs are pushing it out the way it's supposed to. So now I'm gonna use my ratchet to tighten it. Just be careful of this hose around here. Just push it out of the way. Gently. One more thing I have noticed. It, it would not let me torque it because this bolt here is spinning. And to get the wrench here, it has to be a, a very narrow wrench. Channel locks. Gently holding it outside of the bolt. And just use the ratchet or Set it at the bottom. You might need that channel locks, you might not. See, it's it's turning, so I have to use the channel just slightly, you know, it's not like just gently hold it. That's it. That's it, it's done. 
don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions about just pretty much any repairs you know what i mean just leave a comment ask 